how did I get into this spot? I'm not going to make it. And uh, you have to come to that when you're on the homestead. Those those moments of I can't believe this. This is not this. Oh, it's it's the simple life and it's idyllic and it's it's really hard. Um, ours came. I remember that moment. I mentioned we we had spent our last bit of money on some milk cows. The mistake I made is I had never milked a cow, and the cows I bought had never been milked, and they were pregnant. So we're waiting every day. And I remember all of a sudden it just occurring to me, this thousand pound animal probably doesn't want me, you know, yanking on its nipples to get milk out. And um, sure enough, my wife and I, we went in, we, we had trained her in a stanchion and I put, I had a jar of iodine to clean it off. And I reached forward to put the iodine, to, you know, to clean the teat off and she kicked it and iodine is red. So it just looks like blood splattering all over this barn. And it wasn't even a barn. We had, screwed some boards onto like a you know an open shelter and um i kept trying to go to milk this cow and she had just had a calf where you know with the calf's hollering it's of course it's got to be summertime there's there's manure there's flies i'm sweating my wife is there um with a baby on her back strapped to her back i think it was peter strapped to her back on some kind of you know baby carrier or something and i, I remember saying to her um I don't think we can do this. Like having this moment of doubt, I'm kind of embarrassed. I said it out loud, but I just remember one of the guys I emailed, you know, when I was still in the city, Hey, I want to be a homesteader. And he said, he basically said, you can't do it. You don't even know what it's like to have a cow with mastitis kicking at you or something that he was very discouraging. And here I am in this moment of maybe he's right. Um, but my wife being there with the family, needing the milk, we, we had spent our money. Like we needed this milk to eat. It wasn't, I don't know. And I, this wasn't an add on. This was a, a necessity. And then my wife, she says, you know, if this was one of the kids, you wouldn't let her, them get away with kicking. You You know, you would, this, this is, we've, we've got to get through this. And um, she, there's a little trick, you know, you can hold the tail up if anyone in the back. And so she's back there holding the tail up uh, in the air while the cow is, we call it anger pooping. I don't know if the listeners don't yeah. know. A cow can actually pass you know, sort of express its uh, uh, displeasure with you by uh, expelling manure that's not quite digested yet. So it's even worse. So she's back. It's coming towards her. I'm on my hands and knees on the milking of this cow one hand at a time. Uh, and we made it through. But it was uh, I think that was our moment. I don't know if that was your that was your moment of like, wh what have I done? 